Mr. Seven Banks is up, joining man? LSU's newest DB. What's up, my man? How are we doing tonight? I'm good. I'm good. I'm chilling. Welcome to the show. Welcome to AYS. It's great to have you. Uh, great to talk to you. Uh, seven, man. I, I mean, look, a lot of people have been wondering, and a lot of people in our chat and, and our shows have been t- talking about you and, and your experience coming down from Ohio State to LSU. We'll get to all of that, but just want to talk about you, man. How has it been? How are you doing now, and how's the transition been for you coming down from Ohio State to, to Baton Rouge? Yeah, um, transitioning, you know, like when I first came, I drove, you know, that was a, you know, a long drive. You know, I probably never, <laughs> I never do that again. But um, being here, you know, you know, working out, you know, being with the team, around the team, stuff like that, man, it's been great. You know, it's way different than Ohio. You know, food way better, I can say that. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, um, yeah, that, that's, yeah. It's, it's been a smooth transition so far. What has been your favorite food? Like, what has been something? Is there been? Is there? Have you found something that you just can't get enough of? Man, I've been trying to like dip and dabble in you know every little thing right now. But I just went to um, it's a place called Rose Rose. Oh, Rouse. Yeah, Rose, yes. That it was out yesterday. It put me right to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> it was so good, bro. It is good, but it'll sneak up on you though. You know. No, I can't. I can't have that too much though, because I got. <laughs> so I'm assuming Coach Flint's getting you guys ready for the summer. We're getting ready for the fall. Yeah, yeah. He, you know, everywhere, everywhere, yelling everywhere, trying to get everybody pumped up. But he's a good dude. You know, know what he's talking about. So I like that. So seven. Look, you have a lot of experience. You've played at an elite level, okay? And you not only have you played in an elite level. You've played in really big games, Ohio State, Clemson. I mean, you've been there and you've done that. What is it like for you when you went to the transfer portal, you come to LSU now, are you able to take on a more of a leadership role? Because, look, man, there's not a lot of guys on LSU's campus that have that playoff experience like you do. What are you able to tell the guys, and is there anything that you can teach them now going into the summer that what maybe you guys did at Ohio State that helped you so much? Definitely. Um, I definitely try to apply that to, you know, coming here and everything like that, you know, like I'm, like I said, dibble and dabble in the food. I dibble and dabble in everybody and like everybody's knowledge. So, you know, um, I'm not really, you know, doing every everybody everything that everybody's doing right now. You know, because I'm almost back. I'll definitely be back before camp. But um, you know, like every you know thing I could help or say, like you know, some players will come up to me, like the cornerbacks, the young guys, you know, say something like, "Hey, seven, you know, what do you think about this and that?" You know, you know, I'll give them my knowledge on it and stuff like that, and then. You know, they just take it how they want to take it. So you mentioned your rehab, um, the hip, correct? Mm-hmm. Yeah. How is how is that going for you? I, I hear some glowing things yeah. about <laughs> your uh your rehab that you're doing really well, but how are things going? Nah, it's it's going great. Um I'm running, you know, I'm not hundred percent yet, but you know, by the end of this week, and I'll be close for sure. So I'll have, you know, a month and a couple weeks or whatever you know, to do what I got to do. And I'll be back for camp for sure. So that'll give me enough time, even and camp. So it's going to be great. So look, I, I, you know, it's a big transition. You know, we talked to Mike Jones, who was at Clemson, obviously came to LSU. We've talked to a lot of guys that have gone in the portal, go to, uh, you know, come to LSU. And they all say the same thing pretty much, Seven, that, you know, LSU is always a, a very different experience, not even just talking about the Louisiana culture, but the facilities, the training, everything that's going on. I know Ohio State's a very elite program. Don't get it me twisted. Yeah. Um, but what are some things that you've seen that Coach Brian Kelly and staff are doing that you're like, oh, man, this is really amazing? And and kind of to go off of that, too, what brought you down here? Was there something that Brian Kelly, the staff, they were telling you that got you here? Yeah, so um, first of all, BK and, you know, everybody in the staff room, you know, has been – doing a great job of, of detailing things out, you know, getting back on track, you know, um, you know, they bring it in and rebuilding. And, and that's the reason I came to LSU is because, you know, I seen, you know, the rebuild, I seen, you know, what they trying to do. And, um, you know, once I ended the transfer portal, it was really a no burner kind of, cause you know, I actually took, before I even committed to Ohio state, I'm 2018, I took an unofficial, um, to LSU. So once I ended it, I, I, you know, I didn't, you know, have no thoughts about it, but, um, yeah, back to, you know, when I, uh, Sherm, Sherman, uh, recruiting coordinator was a big, you know, port, 
uh, important role, you know, in getting me staying in contact with me, you know. Um, and once, you know, LSU was, it made me feel like, you know, wanted and welcome. So it was, you know, it, it was a no-brainer. I love to hear it. I love to hear it. LSU DB, Seven Banks is our guest. Um, Seven, this team's got a lot of talent, man. And yeah. you've been around a lot of talent. Okay, you have a lot of talent. Um what do you see from the other guys around you that you've been able to see so far? I mean, is there, look, LSU's known, and obviously a lot of people down here like to call it DBU, but how much do you, how much have you seen so far about how good this team can be and the potential that you, you guys could have this upcoming season? Yeah, definitely, definitely going the whole way and winning the whole thing for sure. Me seeing that, me, you know, getting to know these people, these players, these coaches, and, Thing, the thing I see is everybody, you know, competes and everybody is, you know, willing to learn and and go go all out for it. And bringing in BK, all you need is that detailed attention that he brings to the table. So with a team that competes and with a team that, you know, don't give up, and then BK, you know, that that's a recipe for Raul's right there. What about you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Perfection. Perfection. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm gonna have to tell Rayul that you're calling him perfection, man. I like it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, seven. Matt House is a new defensive coordinator yeah. at LSU. It comes from Kansas City. Was at Kentucky, but a lot of his a lot of his linebackers at Kansas City, all pros. You know, just doing some crazy things out there. Won a Super Bowl. Um, not going into the details of the scheme and things that you're learning. Yeah, um, sure. but what did Matt House sell you on with this defense? I mean, what? Was there any specific thing that he sold you on in recruiting or anything like that? Uh, Coach House, uh, great dude as well. You know, competitive. You know, wants to you know get everything perfect. You know, they everybody shoot for perfection, but um, him in his defense, you know, being able to throw a lot of things and you know having you know me in position to do a lot of things is great. You know, and that's what you know we need. You know, it's a lot of elite players on this defense, and even Coach Steeples. You know, Coach. Coach Stevens that just came from the Vikings, smart man, man. He 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 details it up. He he, I keep saying detail too because that's that's what we you know trying to get towards. You know, being detailed, being the most detailed team. You know, every time we come out there, and you know, Rob Stevens, he he's smart man. He played for Minnesota Vikings. He coached like guys like Pat P and everything like that. So I know the corner's gonna be ready. I know we're gonna be good. Yeah, that I mean, look, you continue to talk about detail, and the thing that I continue to hear is, is like the small details. Obviously, are what wins you games, and seven, it is. You know, I mean, those small details do win you games. We do have some questions though fired in here for you. Lamar Williams, big pressure, says hashtag ask seven. Tell your teammates to take you to Smoke Bayou. Now, I will admit, dog, Smoke Bayou, it, it, it's fire now. It's, it's fire. I, I do got to admit. Uh, Chris English says, hashtag ass heaven. How's the hip healing? We we talked about that in summer practice. Uh, Darren says, uh, how are you liking your experience so far at LSU minus humility? Yes, yeah, the heat been a little bit different for you, but you're from you're from Florida. I, yeah, I, but I've been in Ohio for three these past three years. And <laughs> it's it's gonna be some. I'm not gonna lie, it's gonna be some. But um, it's not really a lot of people on campus right now, nothing like that, because you know summer, you know right. we working. That's so, you know, and and plus I, I haven't really been out, you know, I've been to food spots and everything like that, but I haven't really, you know, met fan base stuff like that. So, you know, we'll see. Right. Well, look, I mean, it gets hot, man. It just yeah. gets hot. And you gotta you gotta be hydrated, you gotta be ready to go. Uh seven, let me ask you this too. Now, you obviously were on a team with guys like Chris Olave, who got drafted by the Saints and others. Um, mm -hmm. when you come to LSU and you face good corner or good wide receivers like that. From your perspective, how good is that or more does that make you a better better corner, right? Like, I mean, because if you're facing these guys in practice, mm -hmm. man, you're not going to see a lot better competition than these guys. And now you have guys like Kayshawn Booty, Chris Hilton, Jack Besh, and others. I mm -hmm. mean, man, you, you've, you've seen your fair share of wide receivers for sure. Nah, yeah, exactly. Going against, you know, Chris, Garrett, you know, Jameson, um, everybody, even Marvin, Julian at Ohio State. Uh, that every day, like that, that just it do something to you. It make you a great player, and you know, coming like when you want to when you go to a team, you want to have a, some receivers or a receiver that can 
push you every day in practice because you're not gonna get better unless you just unless you just go to the game and oh I never seen this before. I seen this already. I seen this in my passes and I'm gonna see it again at LSU. Like you said, Kayshawn and you know, all the other receivers back and, you know, stuff like that. So it's it's great. It get, it gets our defense right, you know, ready and prepared. Who's the best trash talker you ever gone up against in your college career? Trash talker. I always had him one team, honestly. I always <laughs> well, wild. you got a couple. You got a couple on LSU too. That's funny, man. Nah, yeah, I, and you know everybody got a little accents here and there, you know. But you know, I I can tell it's gonna be some in practice. I can tell it's gonna be some. Do you do you say anything on the field, or, or do you like to talk any? I mean, are you just kind of like the hey man, got you? You know, we'll get back to the huddle or what? Yeah, I, I sometimes let my talk play. I mean, when I let my play talk for me, but you know, I say my here and there. You know, I, if I'm mic'd up, I'm just gonna be. You know, don't don't mic me up though. But <laughs> yeah. I get I get my here and there's, but other than that, I'd be locked in. See, if I was a DB. See, the O-line, you really don't, you know, you really don't talk a lot of trash, you know? Like, I mean. It's, the oh, the D-line, dude. The D-line. Really, right. Yeah. Yeah. But the O-line, I mean, you know, like, hey, man, nice, you know, look at your shoes. You know, like, we don't really say a whole lot. Uh, yeah. God knew not to make me a DB because I'd be Googling stuff to say. You know, right. like, I'd be talking all game. I'd be out of breath. Uh, Ant Marshall says, hashtag S7, have you and Mike Jones Talked any noise about y'all's matchups for y'all's old schools? He was at Clemson, and obviously you being at Ohio State. Oh yeah, no, nah, he did uh, mention it uh, once. <laughs> but, yeah, y'all kicked our butts, you know. I, uh, but no, nah, yeah, he not too much. But you know, we don't really talk about it like that. I hear you. I hear you. All right, couple more, and we'll get you on out of here. You've been fantastic. Uh, Ryan says hashtag S seven with the big influx of new DBs. What does the future of DBU look like? How you feeling? We talked about that. Uh, as well, so we 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 won't have to get back uh, into into that question because we already asked it. Uh, but seven, last one for me, and we'll get you on out of here. What are some of the goals this season that you are trying to accomplish? Look, now I I know that me and you had talked about this before you came on, um, but look, man, I mean you're obviously rated very high, and like I said, you'll be hearing that 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 song, that little jingle uh, yeah. in the draft room very very soon. Uh, but what are some goals, though? Because, look, I mean, look, you're a very talented young man, very talented DB, but what are some of the goals that you have for this season? Yeah, um, goals, you know, you know, sometimes when you put a goal, when you put a goal to, like, like when you, you know, put in your mirror or whatever, oh, this is my goal, you know, and you, you don't achieve that goal, you feel, you know, you feel some type of way. Like, I have, you know, a lot of objectives and I have a lot of, you know, things that I will accomplish, like, but for right now, like, I, I do everything right now in the moment, like, each day, you know, I don't really think about the future, I don't really think about the past, you know, each day I'm going, you know, do my best to get right, so, but, I mean, whatever you can think of at highest high, high, that's what I'm trying to do, you know, right. yeah, so it ain't, yeah. I lied. I lied. He, I lied. One more. No, sir. No, sir. My little man. Where we? I told seven. We. Me and the. Me and the family have COVID, so we're we're or isolating right now. Uh, last one. You are from Florida. Yeah. Um, any any thoughts of going back there and playing in Gainesville this year? Like, I mean, it, 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 that's got to be. You got to be thinking about that a little bit, though, right? I mean, going back home to play. Yeah, I haven't thought about it much, but I did see it when the schedule came out, and it'll be great, you know, be back in because that's where my mom and my dad is from. Gainesville. Okay. I, I was born in Orlando, but um, now nah, it'll be good to be back home and you know, you know, play in front of them for real. So that'd be great. Oh well, listen, I'm telling you, there's some really weird things that happen between LSU and Florida. Okay, <laughs> some really really weird things. Go find it. <laughs> Nothing like COVID isolation during an interview with an LSU football player. <laughs> I'm already know. It's all it's already good. It's all good. That's my son Ben for everybody that's watching. Seven, you've been fantastic, man. Thank you so much. We'll bring you on again soon. Good luck more on your rehab, and we're looking forward to seeing you very soon on the field. Now for sure, I'll be back. You know, y'all gonna see a lot of me this whole season, so we're gonna be good. I love it. I love hearing it. Now, again, tell people. Hey, well, very quickly. Have you been to the blue store yet? I think I asked you this. Nah, yeah, I've been in the blue store. I've been in the blue store. Okay. Well, smoke by you is the next place you need to go. Ask for the brisket. Tell them.